New images from the Chang'e 4 mission have been released. They summarize more than one year of a mission on the dark side of the moon. The rover U-22 has photographed the lunar surface and the lander. The Chinese space probe Chang'e 4 continues to explore the other side of the moon. Its lander and rover, called U-22, took new pictures of the lunar surface. The Chinese Lunar Exploration Program has created a database of the new images that were immortalized during the mission. Learn more now in this video. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's start with the journey to the moon. A success for China. This is another success for China. Although 2018 ended with the highest number of launches, 39, compared to the 31 American and 20 Russian, 2019 begins in an even more beautiful way, because on this Thursday, January 3rd, a lander, a small fixed station, and a rover, a robot vehicle, have just landed on the dark side of the moon. A significant world premiere that confirms both Beijing's ambitions and qualities in the field of space travel. Doug Ellison, an engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who worked on the cameras of the Mars rover Curiosity, used the images to create panoramic shots that also show the lander from the rover's perspective. China's Lunar Ambitions Many moon orbits have shown that the two sides of the moon are very different. The nearer side has more relatively flat lunar seas, while the other side is densely covered with impact craters of different sizes. Scientists conclude that the moon's crust is much thicker on the far side than on the near side. However, reality is still a mystery, and only on-site exploration could reveal the secrets. For astronomers, the back of the moon is a place of ideal calm, as the lunar body acts as a shield against radio interference from the Earth. From there, they could study the origin and evolution of stars and galaxies and immerse themselves in the beginnings of the universe. The mission's reconnaissance vehicle carries two cameras, a German-built radiation experiment called LND, and a spectrometer that will take low-frequency radio astronomy images. The vehicle carries a panoramic camera, a radar to scan the lunar surface, an imaging spectrometer to identify minerals, and an experiment to study the interaction between the solar wind, a stream of particles released by the sun, and the lunar surface. Chang'e 4 is part of a larger moon exploration program in China. The first and second Chang'e missions were to collect data from orbit, while the third and fourth missions were built for operations on the surface of the Earth's satellite. The next missions, Chang'e 5 and Chang'e 6, will aim to bring lunar rock and soil samples to Earth. Name Origin The vehicle, which is part of Chang'e 4 mission, named in Chinese mythology after the goddess of the moon, was launched on December 7th by a Long March 3B rocket from the launch center in Zichang, in the southwest of the country. Since December 13th, it had been turning away from our natural satellite, in particular to verify that communications and data transfer with Earth were functioning properly. Now that it has landed, it will be able to begin its mission to study the still unexplored part of Selene and conduct scientific experiments. Strange Substance Discovered Chinese researchers have published an analysis of gelatinous substance discovered by the moon rover U-22 in a crater on the undiscovered side of the moon. After analyzing the images and comparing them with samples from the Apollo missions here on Earth, it is exactly what you would expect to find on the moon. Rock. Exactly, this is rock that has melted, probably in the heat of a meteor impact, to form a dark green, bright, glassy mass. The substance was first found at the end of July 2019 by the Chinese moon robot U-22. It was described as gelatinous, which is an unusual description for something found on the moon since the lunar landscape is a very dry and dusty place. However, the glassy substance was somewhat more difficult to analyze possibly because of the weak light. 
they could only distinguish plagioclases at a frequency of about 38%. It was not significantly different from the surrounding regolith, which suggests that the composition may be similar. The researchers were also able to determine that the material has a dark green color and measures about 52 by 16 centimeters. In a research paper published in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters, researchers from institutes of the Chinese Academy of Sciences described the substance as a dark greenish glowing impact melt breccia in the floor of the von Karman crater on the opposite side of the moon. It measures about 52 by 16 centimeters. Breccia is a type of rock that consists of angular mineral or rock fragments that are cemented together. Researchers compared the images taken by the moon rover with samples brought back from the moon by American Apollo missions. They found that the substance was similar to the Apollo samples, suggesting that it could be formed by a violent impact, for example, of a meteorite hitting the satellite. They said that the impact melted some lunar regoliths and breccias that formed the substance. Lunar regolith refers to the mixture of dust and crushed rock that covers the surface of the moon. U-2-2 The Chinese lunar rover U-2-2, also known as Jade Rabbit, traveled 447.68 meters on the opposite side of the moon to scientifically explore the area after covering an additional distance of 27 meters on its 17th lunar day. The research team used the Lunar Penetrator radar on U-22 to transmit radio signals below the lunar surface to a depth of 40 meters using a 500 megahertz radio frequency channel, a depth three times greater than that previously reached by Chang'e 3, which was launched on the near side of the moon in late 2013. This data enabled researchers to develop an image of the underground stratigraphy on the dark side of the moon. The study was published in the latest issue of the journal Science Advances. The Chinese probe Chang'e 4, launched on December 8, 2018, made the first soft landing in the von Karman crater in the South Pole Aitken Basin at the far end of the moon on January 3, 2019. One lunar day is about 14 days on our Earth. A moon night has the same length. On the 17th lunar day, U-22 continued its exploration northwest of the probe's landing site. During this exploration, it was able to collect many new scientific data. U-22 worked much longer than its three-month design life and became the most durable lunar rover on the moon. The Chinese open a new window to the universe. The two sides of the moon are very different. Because the side that is visible from the Earth has more layers, but the hidden side is densely covered with impact craters of different sizes. Scientists conclude that the moon's crust on the hidden side is much thicker than the crust on the visible side. For astronomers, the hidden side of the moon is a place of ideal calm. This is because the moon's body acts like a shield against radio interference from the Earth. For this reason, the evolution of stars and galaxies can be studied in this area of this natural satellite. This is explained by the CNSA on its website. From the panorama, we can see that the probe is surrounded by many small craters, which was really exciting. Furthermore, according to several Chinese media, the Chinese authorities consider the mission of Chang'e 4 probe a complete success. Now that the Chinese are on the dark side, they will be able to set up powerful antennas that will listen to space. Because, on this side of the moon, we are protected from radio pollution from the Earth. In a way, they are opening a new window to the universe. Mission Chang'e 4 is also of geological interest. The space probe Chang'e 4, consisting of a lander and a rover, launched in early December 2018, made a historic moon landing on the hidden side of the moon, whose surface had not been directly explored before, although it had been photographed in orbit. In the final and incredible image provided by the CNSA, the first footprints in history can be seen on the hidden side of the moon, created by the wheels of the U-22 rover after it dismounted from the lander and traveled a few meters in the area of the crater of Karman, in the southern hemisphere of the hidden face of the moon, about 10 hours after the landing of the spacecraft. China's lunar explorer U-22 has helped scientists discover secrets buried deep under the surface on the other side of the moon, which may enrich mankind's understanding of the history of celestial collisions and volcanic activity 
and shed new light on the geological evolution on the moon. It's great what science can do, isn't it? Are you also excited about new images on the hidden side of the moon? Leave us a comment.